everyone and welcome to Ling. Now this day I'm doing my review of All About Reading Level 2. Um, as I did with my science review, I'll talk about the curriculum, uh, my likes and any dislikes if I have them and then I'll show you how I actually um, plan or use the curriculum. So with All About Reading Level 2 you get the teacher's manual, you also get the activity book which I rip out the pages and get them all ready into um, plastic sheet in a binder, I just find that easier and it comes with two readers. Um, this was not actually uh, with level two, I got this with level one and this is my little card box with all my word cards in and phonograms in two. Okay so as I did with the science review I am going to take you to a random lesson. Okay, now this is lesson 42, we're talking about soft and hard G. Um, so with the uh, teacher's guide you always have a bit of information for you to read as the teacher and then it tells you um, to start you doing your review. So basically you review any phonogram cards and any word cards that you want to choose and then it also has a syllable review in this particular case and um, so open and closed and then a bossy R syllable review. We do those on our All About Learning app on our tablet. Um, then with this particular lesson, we're continuing on learning about soft G. So which letters would make it soft? Um, and then obviously hard G. And we usually do all this on the tablet app. We also do have a magnetic board, which we can do on too with letter tiles. Um, but I find it's just easier to use the app because you can just delete the little tiles away with the swish of a finger um, rather than setting them all back up again which is a skill that you should do because obviously it helps them to advertise um, but it's just a lot simpler when you're teaching to use the app I find and to use the magnetic board for word fun and games and other activities. So again we're continuing on um, because it's a new concept so there's quite a few pages of different letters, um, different letters, different words using the soft G and hard G as examples. Um, in this particular case there is also a game. There he is. So here's the little gerbil and each of the little tubes that uh, he has um, have a soft and hard G word on them for your child to read and then they can make him a little activity house to run along in and you can set it up different ways so you can replay with this game quite a few times and my daughter has actually wanted to keep this out which is why it's on the map uh, and do it a few times because you can rebuild his tunnels in different ways then you have your new practice word card so this is your new words practicing your soft g any leap words um, which they other people call sight words they call leap words and then you've got your fluency sheets and you get to put your sticker on. So that's one particular lesson. I'm gonna show you the next one as well because we usually do two in a week. So we usually start off on a Monday doing uh, the first lesson and by the Thursday we are ready to read our story. I'll show you exactly how I organize everything in our work box in a second. But this is lesson 43. So again, you've got your phonogram, uh, phonogram and your word cards. You've also got a warm up sheet for your story. Um, there's some discussion that you can talk about, there is an activity sheet and obviously you've read your story as well in your reader then again you get to put your sticker on. So this story is uh, in my backpack so it is page 106, let me just get the right book so you can see the story. Okay so this is Pumpkin and the Kitten, um, I love the illustrations in, in uh, these books. Uh, we do have the colour version now, I'm using my knee as a bookmark not do. <laughs> um, I do love the fact that they're in colour now but the classic black and white was gorgeous too. So this is the story that she'll be reading um, for this particular lesson. Look at him. <laughs> it's like a unicorn cat. Uh, continuing and I know at the end. There we go. So that's a the story in the lesson number 43. Okay, so I have our work box. This is my reading file and I have a folder for each day of the week. Now we always do two lessons a week and I divide it between the four days. So we do a little bit every single day. Um, so for the Monday, we review any phonogram cards and uh, additional cards. So what I do is 
I keep all my cards in here in the box which you saw earlier I just shuffle out pick 10 for her to review and put them in the little zip park ready and then we keep a selection of phonogram cards that we always review once a week so they are any letter that has multiple sounds um, and anything like soft G soft C um, the worst sound so any consonant teams that are a bit more tricky I always keep in there so that she's reviewing them once a week and she's constantly um, reminded of them and that works a treat with that those that's the only time that uh, we review those once a week the yellow cards and it's just those ones that have multiple sounds just so she doesn't forget them and then we also have the gerbil game so we'll do all the activities that you saw on the tablet um, doing the uh, word games and word activities then we would uh, we review our cards first do all the games on the tablet in terms of re reviewing the words and then do the gerbil um, little activity for Monday and then for Tuesday you saw that they had the new word cards and the leap word so they're all in there so we'll review those and then we have our practice sheets so you've got your new words phrases you have got sentences you have got challenge words and more sentences that's the dog coming to join us hello jace <laughs> okay, so now what i actually do with these is so in this particular day we just had the word cards if there was another activity then i wouldn't do as much but in this particular day they had the word cards so we would have read one side so probably um we would have read the new words or we would have read um, one of the sentences if I felt that she didn't need to review the new words first in order to complete the sentences with the feeling of success um, but then what I do for the rest of the week is I review these sheets in the evening so we use it do it as part of our nighttime routine so we go up for bath she has a bath Jamie's on and then we do our reading time so she will read some of the words from here she will pick a reader so she'll either read a story from from one of the um, this particular curriculum so an older story or she'll pick a reader from her reading box I have a reading box um, in her room and she'll pick a reader from there I alternate I put different ones in there for her or she'll just pick a reader off a shelf so she does a reading book then we do two to three picture books which I read to her she still really likes the picture books I don't think there's anything wrong with her reading picture books still so um she can actually read a lot of them though anyway herself but she likes me to read them too and I do the voices <laughs> and then um we do our evening read aloud so currently we are doing Mary Poppins oh, I've just got it here actually so we have been reading this we've just got two chapters left so we the finally uh, before she goes to sleep I read a chapter or these are quite long chapters so half a chapter sometimes of this particular book or whatever it is we're reading and then off she goes to bed so that's how I fit in these um, extra challenge words and everything else I don't do it as part of our daily lesson during school apart from on the very first day when we'll read some of it but I do it in the evening when we're doing our nighttime routine okay for then for the Wednesday we do our review cards again so again I just pick a selection of 10 out of my box to review and then I also do the review sheet for the actual reading lesson so that's on a Wednesday Thursday we read the story and then do any activity that goes along with it sometimes there's an activity before the story sometimes there's an activity after the story in this case I think it was after I can't remember anyway the uh, we read the story then we do our activity and then on a Friday we have fun Friday so we don't usually have anything else um, for our reading curriculum on a Friday but if there is another story or anything like that then we will do that but that's how I separate my two lessons a week over four days and in terms of my opinion of this wonderful curriculum I can't speak highly of it enough I adore it um, I'm just grabbing it actually there we go so <laughs> I absolutely adore it it is an amazing curriculum um, it has so many different activities and games look how cute he is he loves it too <laughs> uh, it has so many amazing activities and games that come along with it and the readers are just gorgeous i love the fact now they're in color too but the black and white ones i just work just as well and i would have been more than happy to carry on with them in black and white anyway but i do like the fact they are in color now so i can't recommend it enough um fabulous highly 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 love it highly recommend it and it has been the best curriculum I could have picked to teach my daughter to read. So thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.